Good morning. Today is March 7th, 2022. My name is Sin Bagley, and I'm doing my daily I Ching practice. Um, this morning, I just wanted to tell you that when I was in my early 20s, I was in South Africa. And I met a person there who introduced me to the I Ching. And I always found it extremely interesting, but it wasn't until the last few years that I actually got really into it. Today I'm using the Paul O'Brien's Visionary I Ching, which is an app that you can find on Google Play. I use this because it is um, more an American translation. Uh, one of these days I may pull out my Wilhelm I Ching translation that is an introduction by Jung and you can see the difference. But today, let me start. First I'll take three deep breaths. Now throw the coins. The first hexagram is number 42, which is increase. And this has changing lines, so I will read the changing lines. Changing line two says, Sometimes, sudden good fortune is as disruptive to its recipient as a calamity. When good fortune falls into your life, the surest means of staying on course is to reinforce your love of the good. Operate from a sincere desire to extend the power of your integrity and loyalty into the outer world. By remaining true to your higher self, Good fortune becomes a lasting condition, and small obstacles are easily overcome. If you have an instinctive desire to help others at a time like this, heed it. Don't be afraid to follow your heart when it desires to do good. And changing line three says, Even a miscalculation or seemingly unfortunate event can lead to good luck in a time of general increase. Picture a baseball player on a hot streak who's fooled by an inside pitch. Despite his blunder, the ball accidentally hits his bat and bloops a hit while he is trying to get out of the way, and he advances to first base. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. When things are going well, it still behooves you to step up and prepare to swing your bat. So good luck, but also action is just as important. So this changes to hexagram 9, which is small influences. A gentle wind gathers clouds, but still there is no rain. Softer influences predominate as the power of smaller forces accumulates, making this a time for smooth and friendly persuasion. The ebb and flow of events are like waves in the sea, and there are peri periods of low tide. At present, more sweeping actions are impossible or inappropriate, but small matters ultimately lead to bigger and better things when attended to with success. When the tide is rolling in, by all means ride the waves. When they are receding like they are now, however, focus on the little things. When you cannot do much to affect large matters, persuasion, and subtle influence prepare the way for stronger moves in the future. Use your intuition to chart your long-term course, but avoid bold actions. They are unlikely to work. This is a better time to refine existing abilities or develop new talents. 
gentleness is a key word here. Regarding whatever's on your mind right now, gentleman, gentleness combined with determination is likely to generate more progress than brute force ever could. And that sort of reminds me of the tarot card eight, which is strength, where the woman is um, gently closing the lion's mouth so that it is the small strengths. It's the little things. It's every day you make a cup of coffee and you drink it. And then every day you make a cup of coffee for yourself and you make a cup of coffee for your husband or for your significant other. And that is, and he drinks it or she drinks it and you drink it. And these little small influences the little, little things. Another, another example, and one that I use a lot, is when you're writing a novel. I've written eight novels, and I will have to tell you right now, every time I start a novel, I get to a certain point, and it is very hard to finish it. But what I've found is that if I write a little bit every day, 500 words, 1,000 words, 2,000 words, just a little bit every day in a few months, I finish the novel. If I don't do those little little bits every day, then I don't finish the novel. So many times just that little thing is the difference between finishing something or not finishing something. Or having a good life or not having a good life. So go forth and have a good day.